On this episode, we're creating a function that, after entering, turns itself into a value in the cell. Be sure to hit the website in the description to check out all the sample workbooks and code. So let's do a quick overview. I've created my function in VBA called equals GUID, and when you run it, it returns a GUID. It works if you also select multiple cells and do a control enter. You'll notice that the function doesn't stay there, but it actually turns itself into a GUID, so that value won't change as you calculate. The way this is done is through a timer. So when you're inside of a function like this, when Excel is calculating, you can't actually change the cell value to be from a formula to a value. So in this case, we just return the word loading, but we trigger a timer uh, that's going to get called after calc finishes and then we'll go through and convert all those loadings into the GUID. And so let's go ahead and set a breakpoint here and then go ahead and type equals GUID and we'll see the breakpoint stop inside of the timer code. And so you can see loading gets returned and then the, the breakpoint fires because the timer just happened right after that. And the way we're going to replace it is just do a simple find inside of formulas for equals GUID and then do a loop through all the cells that are found and we're going to run this application evaluate that creates a random GUID based on an Excel formula. And then we're going to set that value to replace the equals GUID formula and then keep looping through all the cells that, that have that. And if you wanted to, you, instead of loading, you could probably put some extra context in there so as you're looping through, you could calc something different. And here's the final result. And with that, we're at the end of the episode. If it's interesting, give it a thumbs up. If it's incredible, give me a sub, and I'll see you in the next one.